Kim here, Director of Communications for the Arizona Senate Republicans, and joining me today is Senator Vince Leach of District 11. And today we're talking about what the Biden administration is doing that's really going to hurt charter schools, not only across the country, but specifically here in Arizona. Tell us what you know. It's not only going to hurt charter schools, but the way in which the Biden administration is doing this is, is really hurtful. What the Biden administration is basically saying is that before a charter school can be uh, eligible for a new school, they have to check with school districts in the area to see if there's any open capacity. We have tons of open capacity here, as you know. Through COVID, kids have left the school. They've either gone to uh, other charter schools, they've gone to another school, they've gone to homeschool. So we have all kinds of capacity there. It's really unfortunate because what this will do is, is take choice away from parents. 55% of the kids in the state of Arizona don't go to the school in which they're, in, in the zip code in which they live. There is choice, we're a leader in choice. Uh, we've been designed that way. This would cripple uh, charter school growth in the state of Arizona. So the Department of Education, the Federal Department of Education released these rules. And so you basically have to show that there are no empty seats in public schools in order for these charters to get federal funding. That is correct. And, and what's really disappointing, and I guess disgusting about it, is the fact that they only had a comment period, they being the federal government, a comment period of 31 days. Normally, we're asking for 60. Uh, through Governor Ducey and a number of other governors, uh, 60 days, it's normally 12 to 18 months. It's obvious that they want to ram this through just as they rammed it through when they talked to teachers and teachers unions about keeping schools closed during COVID. Why do you think the Biden administration is attacking charter schools? Because they work. Uh, they work and they don't have things like CRT, SEL, social emotional learning. Uh, there's another one that I just heard, comprehensive sexual education. It's all coming together in a triangle and that's what they're, that's, that's what K-12 schools, traditional schools are pushing on our kids. It's, it's really, it's frightening to see what's coming out of our schools. I tell my parents in District 11, uh, soon to be LD 17, is that when is the last time you've been in your child's classroom to see what they are teaching? We know it's being taught to it. We've had this discussion before. 200 teachers in the state of Arizona have signed up and publicly said that they will teach CRT no matter what the law wow. is, no matter what the school board says. And one would assume that since the teachers unions are such big contributors to the Democrat Party in terms of donating money and that these charter schools create competition for public schools that the teacher unions represent, that that's kind of in the works as well as a motive behind what's it plays, happening. It plays right into it. Several years ago, I think it was, uh, it would be three years now, uh, I ran a bill uh, that, that said Charter school, uh, public schools had to give an opportunity to, for charter schools to buy that property uh, or to use part of that property. Uh, now, uh, they, they want to erase all that. Our parents and our kids need to understand that when we designed the charter school system, we designed it under a corporation system. Now, that gets into the weeds a little bit, where K-12 is under a completely different system. The rules that Biden administration want to force on education in Arizona just don't work. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is a very important topic, and I know it's something as a legislature, at least our majority caucus, is going to be exploring in terms of what legal avenues we can take to ensure that parents, families, children have a choice in their education. And as, as, as we speak, there are meetings going on to see what avenues we have. We owe, it, we owe it to the charter school community, we owe it to parents, and we owe it to kids. Uh, the more kids that we put through charter schools and other choice systems, the more they want it when they grow up. And they said, I went to a charter school. I went to school choice. I know what it did for me. Now to shut that off and just say no more is, is really a crime. It's a big issue we'll be discussing in the weeks and months ahead. Senator Vince Leach from District 11, thank you for joining us today.